Hey there guys, today I'm going to do a quick little greenhouse update and then I'm going to give you an introduction into the new year. Kind of some of the things I have planned, what you can expect from the channel, and a few other little random things. Well, let's go to the greenhouse now. Starting over here, these two tubs were the most recently planted, so that is why they are a lot smaller than the ones over there. Um, they are a mixture of tomatoes, uh, peppers, some basil, and some snow peas that we got from my dad. Um, everything in these was started by seed with the exception of this tomato right there. Um, and so far they're doing pretty well. These are a combination of Anaheim's and bell peppers, and I think there's one jalapeno there in the back. Over here, we're getting into some onions and some of the big cauliflower plants. <laughs> These are definitely something that could probably take our winters, but we just wanted to see how they were gonna do in here. And if you can't tell, they are looking <laughs> like giants. Uh, they both have uh, cauliflower heads, or actually all three of them. Um, and they are just pretty new, so they're not quite fully developed just yet, but uh, hopefully they'll be ready to harvest soon. Over here in the last tub, these are beans, and I've just been holding out on harvesting them until now. They're all pretty much ready to go. That's why they're pretty much all falling down, um, but they're pretty much loaded. Um, <laughs> and probably maybe give us one meal's worth, but that's okay. I'm pretty excited that uh, they've been growing so well. And then over on this side are the peppers and the tomato that we purchased in little pots and then repotted up. They were doing really, really well up until about a week ago. You can see they are fruiting. There's a bunch of jalapenos and tomatoes on them. And then they started getting yellow and I thought it was a fertilization issue until I remembered that I had sealed off the bottoms of these with some aluminum pie plates. Uh, that's what I normally do with our outdoor potted plants to keep them from drying out and basically I let the soil get too uh, Moist so I poked a bunch of holes in the bottom and hopefully in the next week or so they will return back to normal That's pretty much it for the greenhouse mini update It's not quite the jungle I was hoping it would be at this point But it is producing something and I am pretty happy about that I will be adding some more starts here in the next week or so for the normal outside garden. As for the question that I am most often asked, what is the temperature difference between the greenhouse and the outside temperature on a cold night? We have had a couple of freezing nights. Uh, one was about 25, 26 degrees. And I came in here with a t-shirt and I was able to walk around pretty comfortably. So I'm guessing it was like maybe mid 50s. Uh, that's without any heating or anything like that. And it was about maybe 11 o'clock at night. I'm sure it would have cooled down a little bit, but I think it's safe to say it might be about a 25 degree uh, temperature difference between here and freezing. So maybe if it was zero degrees, maybe with nothing else, this would be pretty close to uh, 32. I don't know, I'm adding a few degrees. So anyway, let's get on to the other stuff. Okay, so now you're all caught up on the greenhouse. It is one of my biggest projects and I always get people asking about it. And I know I don't do quite as many updates on it as I should, but hopefully maybe that satisfied a little bit of the curiosities out there. What am I planning on talking about for the rest of the video? It's gonna be mostly project based, uh, the kind of projects I'm hoping to accomplish, um, some maybe some changes in the style of projects. And then I wanna talk about some other things like meetups and uh, some other little random things or something like that. The first thing I have on my list of projects for the new year is in regard to the size of the projects I've been doing. Uh, this new year, I would like to do a less of the bigger or larger scale projects like this shop and the sunken greenhouse and the uh, shipping container playhouse and do more of the medium to smaller projects. Uh, things that I can get done in a matter of hours or a day or two uh, versus these long drawn out uh, five, six, seven, eight part uh, series. Um, I will probably still have some like that. I just don't want to compound all of my time on those um, when I could be doing uh, some other things that interest me like uh, leather craft and uh, working with Kydex and little small knickknacks and maybe some inside of the house things like picture frames and, and stuff like that as far as the building type projects. I also do want to do more on gardening and rainwater harvesting. Those are things that are very important to me. I enjoy them and I probably talk about them a lot but I don't always uh, maybe do videos on them. 
Uh, so those are definitely things that I want to do, but I'm really kind of considering a lot of those the small to medium sized projects uh, because it will help me to be able to put out a good video for you guys, um, accomplish something for me, as well as <laughs> allowing me to spend more time with my family, which ultimately is the most important uh, thing to me. But if you are one of the ones who like these longer and bigger scale projects, I will have at least two of them in the new year. Um, one of them actually is already complete. I've been working for the past two and a half months on it. I, it was a collaboration with Forney Industries. And I can just say that it is a super cool project and involved more welding than I've ever done on any one or probably five projects combined. Um, I will be kind of uh, dropping hints in the next couple of months and then you'll probably see a full video or two on that. Um, maybe like the March, April time. Uh, but anyway, I can just say it's really cool um, and was a super cool opportunity. The other project that I have not started yet, well, I guess maybe kind of started, is going to be a mini camp trailer project. That's probably gonna be the biggest thing that I do this year. Uh, some of you who saw me make the beer holder probably about a year and a half ago will know that I pretty much have the trailer for that uh, camp trailer welded together. Uh, but what I need to do now is just build the whole upper assembly on it. And I have a little, a uh, couple drawings I'll show you maybe on a little uh, <laughs> clip away right now of what it might look like. But think something between a teardrop trailer and a smaller size camp trailer. Next on my list is to do more on rainwater harvesting, gardening, and permaculture type things. As I mentioned before, it's a huge portion of my life, but it is apparent that I do much more of that um, behind the camera than I do in front of the camera. And based on you guys' comments and tons of emails I receive, it's a huge interest of yours as well. And I guess I sometimes just get stuck in projects uh, of other forms and I kind of forget to do these things. Uh, but they are things that interest me greatly and I definitely want to do more of them in the coming year. Specifically, I want to get more into the components as well as the levels to which a person can become introduced into rainwater harvesting from the beginning level of like a rain barrel to the intermediate level and up to the advanced level with a cistern or big tanks and actually supplying their house. I still consider myself uh, still trying to achieve the advanced level, uh, but I also will be doing some rainwater harvesting projects. Um, one that comes to mind will be uh, me converting a roofing test that I recently did for uh, Tough Tex Roofing. Um, they wanted to see how their panels held up in a desert exposure test and I'm going to be converting those frames to a rain roof uh, much in the sense that um, my buddy Derek over at DIY Homestead Projects did on his little place uh, with his wife Hannah. Um, so I'll be doing something more on that, uh, definitely more in the rainwater gardening uh, kind of things. And then specifically with the permaculture and gardening things, I definitely want to do more earthworks to harvest water to water my fruit trees, as well as maybe <laughs> design a couple seasonal ponds. Um, I still have my uh, wildlife water that I haven't given you guys a tour of. I'm still kind of perfecting the components of that. Uh, but I guess that kind of uh, encompasses uh, that portion of the projects. And next thing on the list obviously has to do with the shop. This has been the single biggest project that I've ever done on the channel and probably other than building my house, the biggest project <laughs> that I've ever done. Uh, I've made three different structures, the playhouse, the mini container, and the shop out of that one container I started with. And it has dragged on for about a year. A year. I've done uh, videos on the benches and different things like that. I still have another video where I will finish the main uh, like heavy duty workbench and then I'll be doing a cordless tool station as well as um, kind of like a, uh, a place to store my compressor and things like that. And then the shelving, which I think I said like two months ago or five months ago that I was gonna have all that done. But that is going to be uh, probably heavy um, into the beginning couple of months of this year, just to finish this out to where you can see me actually doing stuff in here uh, versus just working on it, which I know I've said that <laughs> like 10 times before. And then the last thing on my project list is to do more off the cuff style videos like when you saw me change my quad tire in the mountains behind my house 
It was a total random video and my wife recommended I take the camera. She said, if you don't like the clips, just delete them. And in the end, I think it turned out kind of interesting and it seemed like a lot of you guys thought it was interesting. Probably not gonna be one of those viral videos, but it allowed me to make something productive out of what would have been wasted time. So it could be videos like that where I'm just talking about maybe something a little bit philosophical. I'm not gonna be doing political kind of stuff because honestly, I find most politics just reprehensible and there's really no place for that here. I'm into positive things and just uh, you know making my life better and maybe helping you guys to have a better life. Uh, it might be more camping vids. Um, after I get the camp trailer done, I will definitely be doing some traveling in it. So it might just be me and my family going out and seeing stuff. May or may not be interesting. And then, I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's pretty much it. Next item, meetups. This is something I've thought about quite a bit recently as I've gotten more and more requests from folks over the past couple of years wanting to meet me or tour the property or take me out to breakfast or lunch or have me call them on the phone and do consulting on a particular project. And it's really cool that uh, someone would value my opinion that much to want to meet me or ask me questions about something. Uh, but logistically, if I met everyone on an individual basis, I quite frankly wouldn't get into projects done and I wouldn't be able to spend the quality time with my family that I enjoy spending. Uh, but I do want to meet a lot of you. And so this year I want to make an effort to uh, maybe start a meetup or two uh, where I can meet a lot of you on in a safe manner and in a, a logistically efficient manner um, or maybe go to a trade show or public gathering and do something like that. Um, I will probably post it on Instagram or do a video on here letting you know uh, but that is kind of the plan for the coming year regarding uh, meeting people. Well that's pretty much it for the plans for the new year. I thank you guys so much for watching all the videos, following the channel, uh, leaving comments, even the constructively critical ones. I uh, get a lot of ideas from you guys and I just appreciate everything. Uh, 2017 has been an awesome year and I'm hoping to make 2018 even better. I want to up my quality of videos, uh, give you guys good content, maybe good in, uh, ideas. Uh, as I've mentioned many times before, my ultimate goal is to inspire people to improve their own lives through projects or gardening or whatever uh, as I try to improve my own life. I just thank you so much. It's been a great year. I've received lots of great emails. Uh, I've even had some of you send me uh, different gifts and things like that, and they're very much appreciated. Uh, but please, you know, you don't have to send anything. Uh, but if you did, uh, please leave a return address. I've received a couple of things that there was no return address. There was no way for me to uh, thank the person. Um, you know, just make sure it's not a box of white powder or something like that. But uh, it, it is very much appreciated. Uh, recently, um, Mark Bracey from Bumblebee Junction sent me some shelves that I'm going to be using in the playhouse that you'll end up seeing. And Mike Deckies sent me some uh, uh, shop things like uh, drawer glides and a, a nut bolt guide and some adhesives. Uh, so you'll probably see those in the coming uh, shop videos. And uh, one of the coolest things that I received recently was from Germany and it was from Joanne. It's this little leather bound diary she got my daughter and I just can't tell you how cool this is. <laughs> my daughter's already started uh, drawing in it um, <laughs> and it's just very cool and much appreciated. Um, so I just thank you guys so much. I want to make 2018 an awesome year and I just received this uh, from the Jameson family. <laughs> they sent me a picture of everybody off of their Instagram account. They have Homestead Anomics shirts. Um, they've just been awesome. It's called Little Extra Love Farm. Um, but as always, I just thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up if you like this, and uh, I will see you in the next one.